So for other normal distributions, uh, many applications, for example, the distribution is not uh, standard normal. So in that case, in, we're going to convert that normal distribution into standard normal distribution. So from normal random variable x to, to z. So in order for us to easily find the area or probability under the normal curve. So for learning objective, to understand the topic on normal distribution and its importance in different disciplines, performance objective, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to draw normal distribution curves and calculate the standard score or z-score and apply the basic knowledge of um, normal distribution to solve problems and lastly interpret the results of the problems. So solving problems with normal distribution, the value of a normal random variable x with mean, mu, and standard normal variable z with mean 0 and standard deviation 1. Hence, we have z is equal to normal random variable x minus mean all over standard deviation. Okay, so ano bang symbol ko? Ito mu. Ito naman yung sigma. Okay? So mu para sa mean, sigma para sa standard deviation. When z is negative, x lies to the left of the mean, mu. When z is equal to 0, x is equal to mean. When z is positive, x lies to the right of the mean. So example class, x is a normally distributed variable with mean mu is equal to 30. And standard deviation, sigma is equal to 4. Fine. A, probability of x less than 40. B, probability of x greater than 21. And last, probability of x greater than 30, but less than 35. Okay. So, dumala tayo sa uh, letter A. 30, standard deviation, 4. And... We're going to find what is the probability of x less than 40. Okay, convert x into z. So we will use this formula. All right, given the standard deviation and the mean. We have z is equal to x minus mu or x minus mean over sigma. That is equal to x. So we will use 40. It's value of x. 40 minus 30 over 4. Okay, 2.5. So, kailangan express natin sa uh, decimal yung sagot, no? Two decimal places, rounded off. So, therefore, class, probability of x less than 40 is also the same as probability of z less than 2.5. So, probability of x is less than 40 is equal to probability of z less than 2.5. Given that, our standard deviation is 4 and mean is 30. Okay, so probability of z less than 2.5 class. No, sana yung area niya, sana, sana yung area niya class? Nasa left ni 2.5 or nasa right ni 2.5? Okay, nasa left ni 2.5, so this one. So from 2.5 going to negative infinity. So hanapin natin ang area niya, 0.4938. So, in 0 0.4938 plus, from 0 lang yun, no? To 2.5, we have 0 0.4938. Okay, paano naman yung nasa left ni 0 class? Anong area niyan? Okay, 0 0.5. So, para makuha yung total area na nasa left ni 2.5, so, pag-a-add nyo lang yung class, yung dalawang yan, 0 0.9938 or 99.38%. Letter B. Probability of x greater than 21. So, given nyo, uh, same pa rin yung value ng mean natin. Yung mean natin doon ay 30 pa rin. And standard deviation, 4. But this time, hinahanap is probability of x greater than 21. Okay, so using formula, 
z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. So x is 21. We have 21 minus 30 over 4. Okay, negative 2.5. Probability of x greater than 21 is also equal to probability of z greater than negative 2.25. Okay, then gawa tayo ng uh, normal curve. So, yun na nga natin natin. So, tignan nyo class. Ganun pa rin, no? Kahit may negative siya, ignore nyo lang muna yung negative. Uh, tignan, nyo yung, tignan nyo yung area ni 2.25 doon sa table. 0. 4878. Take note last, yung 0.4878 ay nagsimula lang yun sa 0. So from 0 to negative 2.25, ang error niya ay 0.4878. How about dun sa right naman ni 0, class? So same pa rin, no? 0.5. Total na lang, we have 0.9878 or 98.78%. Okay, letter C. Probability of x greater than 30 but less than 35. Eh, same pa rin yung ating standard deviation tsaka mean. So, mean is 30, standard deviation is 4. So, at this time, hinahanap probability of x greater than 30 but less than 35. So, syempre, dalawa din yung hahanapin natin na z. For z sub 1, ang gagamitin natin x sub 1 dito, yung 30. We have z sub 1, we have 30 minus 30 over 4. So, 30 minus 30 is 0. Divided by 4 is 0. Next, yung C sub 2 naman. So, ang gagamitin natin X sub 2 dyan, yung 35. So, C sub 2, 35 minus yung mean 30 over, over 4. Okay, 1.25. So, therefore, class, probability of X greater than 30 but less than 35 is equal to probability of Z greater than 0 but less than 1.25. So we have this one from 0 to 1.25. Okay, yan ang inaharap natin. So class, nakikita nyo naman, nagsimula sa 0. Okay, so hanapin nyo na lang yung area class doon sa 1.25 from 0. So yung kunin nyo yung intersection yung 1.2 at ni 0.05, we have 0 0.3944. So from 0 to 1.25 is 0. 3944. Yun yung sagot class, na? 0.3944 or 39.44%. A radar unit is used to measure speeds of cars on a motorway. The speeds are normally distributed with a mean of 90 km per hour and a standard deviation of 10 km per hour. What is the probability that a car peak at random is traveling at more than 100 km per hour? Okay, so yung ating given, what are the given? 90 kilometers per hour. So class, wala tayong problema sa unit. Lahat yan, speed. So yung unit natin in terms of kilometers per hour. So lahat sila kilometers per hour. So walang conversion na mangyayari. Okay, so lahat yan pare-pareho kilometers per hour. So we have a uh, mean 90 and standard deviation of 10. So hinahanap class, probability of x Greater than. Why greater than? Kasi dun sa keyword na at more than. Probability of x is greater than 100. So, yun yung hinahanap. Okay? So, bago natin mahanap yung area, okay, so, i-convert natin yan into z. Okay? So, we have z is equal to, okay, yung ating x dyan, yung 100. Alright? So, we have 100 minus 90 over 10. Okay? So, we have 10 over 10 or 1. Probability of X greater than 100 is also the same as probability of Z greater than 1. So anyway, tingnan nyo muna yung area ni, ni 1. So ang area ni 1, dyan class, 0 0.3413. Okay, 0 0.3413 ang area na manggagaling sa, sa 0, syempre. So ito yung 0 0.3413, no? Kaya lang, inahanap nating area ay nasa kanan ni, ni 1. Kaya... Ililess natin yung 0.3413 sa 0.5. Okay, bakit 0.5? Again, kasi nga, ang kalahate ng ating normal curve ay equal to 0.5. So kapag ililess natin si 0.3413, ang makukuha nating area ay ito. Alright, so we have 0.5 minus 0.3413, 0.1587 or 15.87%. Okay. 
the probability that the car is a pick at random, okay, or selected at random has a speed greater than 100 kilometers per hour is 0.1587 or 15.87 percent. For a certain type of computers, the length of time between charges of the battery is normally distributed with a mean of 50 hours and a standard deviation of 15 hours. Jan owns one of these computers and wants to know the probability that the length of time will be between 50 and 70 hours. So given natin dyan class, we have 50 for mean. Okay, so standard deviation. We have standard deviation, 15. Ang kinahanap, ang tanong dyan is, that is probability of x greater than 50 but less than 70. So, isahin mo natin. We have C sub 1 and C sub 2. So, for C sub 1, we will use X sub 1 as 50. C sub 1, which is 50 minus 50 over 15. We have 0 over 15 or 0. For C sub 2 naman plus Z sub 2. So, yung para sa X sub 2 natin, magamitin natin yung 70. 70 minus mean 50 over 15. Okay, so 20 over 15 or 1.33, no? Around off na lang natin to decimal places. Okay, so Z sub 2 is equal to 1.33. So the probability of X greater than 50 but less than 70 is also the same with probability of Z greater than 0 but less than 1.33. So yun na yung class. Nagsimula naman sa 0. Sabi nga ni Nico kanina. So hanapin nyo na lang yung area ni, ni 1.33 which is mga galing naman talaga yun sa, sa 0. So, from 0 to 1.33, so yun, we have 1.33 is yun. So we have 0 0.4082. So, yun na yung area niya, class. So, we have 0 0.4082 or 40.82%. A large group of students took a test in P6 and the final grades have a mean of 70 and a standard deviation of 10. If we can approximate the distribution of these grades by a normal distribution, what percent of the students should fail the test? Kapag fail, those are grades below 60. Alright, so yung given natin dito class, mean 70. Standard deviation, 10. Minahanap, probability of X less than 60. So mean... 70, standard deviation, 10, probability, ang hinahanap is probability of X less than 60. X, so we'll use 60 minus 70 over 10, and Z is equal to 60 minus 70 is negative 10 over 10 is negative 1. You can say that probability of X less than 60 is probability of Z less than negative 1. So the area is from uh, from negative 1 going to left, or going to negative infinity. Okay, so tingnan natin sa table class yung negative 1 or 1. So again, class 1, katulad nung nahanap natin sa number 2, we have 0 0.3413. And 0 0.3413 ay from 0 yun class, no? So ito yun class. From 0 to negative 1, ang area is 0. 3413. Kaya lang ang inaanap nating area diyan ay yung ay nasa kaliwa ni negative 1. Kaya ang gagawin natin, ile-less natin yung 0.3413 sa 0.5. Okay? So 0 0.5, oh, same lang sa number 2. Natin din niya. Minus 0 0.3413, yeah, 0 0.1587 or 15.87%.